Okay, so here we are in After Effects, and I'm gonna show you how to use the GSG LUTs in After Effects. So here we have a pretty simple uh, motion design piece done by uh, Black Book, uh, Amador Valenzuela, and myself. We collaborated on this project not too long ago, made this cool Lego animation. So we're gonna use um, some of the GSG LUTs to uh, adjust the color on this little sequence here. So what do we do first? Well, we want to put it on an adjustment layer because we don't want anything that we do to be live or, or tied to that layer. Plus, we want the ability to uh, bring the effect down and up. So that, that's a good way to, to handle that. So let's go ahead and create an adjustment layer. I'm going to use the hotkey. It's going to be Control-Alt-Y. And I'm going to drag, uh, we got our adjustment layer here. I'm just going to drag it below this logo bug. And now we're ready to go here. So we've got our adjustment layer. It's all set. Let's go ahead and uh, start looking through some LUTs here. I'm going to go over to my Effects tab. We've already installed everything. Everything's working well. So I'm just going to type in GSG, and it's going to filter out everything but GSG. And here we have all of our different LUTs that we can play with. So with that adjustment layer selected, I'm going to go ahead and start selecting some, some looks here. So let's try Age of Aquarius. Uh, that looks pretty good. A little bit of blue. Let's see what all crunched out looks like. Whoa, that's way too saturated. What does amber waves do? It kind of gives like a nice warm tone to the to the horizon line. This blue green effect is kind of nice. It kind of gives it that uh, that cyan, milky cyan kind of look. Let's try cool mids. So you can see how you can like quickly kind of come in here and let's let's go into a shot where we can see some of these yellows and try, ooh, magazine cover, that's super saturated and kind of contrasty. Um, let's try warm embrace. Actually, that looks pretty good. So let's say that this is the one that we like. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, adjust the opacity of this adjustment layer, because I don't want it to affect it 100%. I'm gonna bring it down to like 80%. And now I'm just going to um, take a little snapshot of this, and I'm gonna turn the adjustment layer off, and we're just gonna quickly see what that looks like. And I like the way that looks. It takes some of the harshness of this kind of purple blue out of it and gives it an interesting look and lifts the blacks up just a touch. So let's go ahead and play this back um, without the LUT applied. And now I'm going to turn the LUT on and you can see the same sequence playback. So it's kind of a cool look. So if we want to go more extreme with it, we can select our adjustment layer and select our LUT here, our little LUT effect. And I can come over here and double click a different look. And in this case, I'm gonna try something really crazy called Furiosa out of the cinematic uh, group. So this isn't really, um, this is probably the client won't really like this one. So let's bring the uh, effect of this one down maybe like 30% and maybe like 50%. So this is a very warm kind of look, kind of hazy look, which I kind of dig. So that's how you would uh, apply um, one of the GSG LUTs to your footage or your animation. Um, so one of the things that you might notice too, like if you didn't have this adjustment layer on, and let's just go ahead and uh, stop the animation there. Um, if you forgot to create the adjustment layer and you just double clicked one of these presets, it's going to apply it to whatever layer you have selected, okay? So if I were to do that and I keep double clicking, it's gonna keep adding and adding and adding these looks on top of each other, which is fine, you can totally do that. Uh, but if you wanted to swap out and not keep adding, you're gonna to want to put it on an adjustment layer, that's number one, so Control-Alt-Y on PC. Um, drag that down here. With that selected, I'm gonna double click one of my looks. And if you wanted to swap out, you wanna make sure that this Apply Colored LUT effect is selected. Otherwise, if it's not selected, it's just gonna keep adding, adding, and adding. So with it selected, I'm gonna come down here and let's try one of the black and white looks. That might be kind of fun. My, one of my favorite one is this uh, photography class one. So let's hit play on that. So that's a really different look. Not at all what we probably want uh, for this job, but it's an interesting look. Um, and so, yeah, so that's how you would apply it there. So I'm going to show you how to, how, how it works and how it looks with some, some actual live action footage next. 
Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to get the Gorilla Grade LUTs to work in Adobe Premiere. So I'm working in Adobe Premiere uh, CC 2017, uh, but this should work in uh, anything beyond it. And I believe any, I think the CC in general will support uh, lookup tables or LUTs. So let's get started here. So assuming that you've already watched the install video and you've got everything installed in the right place, uh, in particular, the uh, after the uh, sorry Adobe Premiere presets. That's going to be the most important thing uh, for this demo. So once everything's installed correctly, I'm you just can load in some footage here. I've just got some footage that I shot uh, on my phone uh, as I was taking a walk uh, in our awesome Savannah. So yeah, we've got this footage of these like metal binoculars that I'm gonna do some do some. Uh, Gorilla grade lots on. So let's go over to our footage bin and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, say new item and I'm gonna say adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna use the uh, the comp settings here, the edit settings and hit okay. And let's go ahead and rename this just grade. I always like to put my grades on an adjustment layer so that I can bring the intensity up or down if I need to. So once that's set up, set up I'm just gonna drag this into my timeline and expand it to the end of that clip. And now I've got an adjustment layer here uh, over my clip that, that's ready to uh, have some grading done to. So let's go to the effects tab and I'm just going to type in GSG and you can see it's already going to load up all of our all of our LUTs and I'm just going to collapse all the folders down. And you can see you get these awesome little previews of what actually is going to be happening when you apply uh, these LUTs. So you've got the cinematic, we've got the everyday, we've got the specialty. So to apply them, all you have to do is make sure that you have your adjustment layer set up and just double click. And the look is applied and you're pretty much good to go. And if you want to go ahead and change the, uh, the strength of that, you can just go into the opacity of that, of that adjustment layer. Uh, in this case, I'll turn the keyframes off and just kind of twirl it down just a little bit so maybe it's not so heavy handed. Um, of course, if you don't like it, you can always undo and get rid of that uh, color correction layer or color correction effect, sorry, and pick a new one. So let's go ahead and try, I don't know, let's try this one. It's got kind of a milked out green. What I like to do, what it does is it's gonna load the, the LUT into the Lumetri uh, color correction effect into the input LUT. So what I like to do is get into the habit of keeping my hands on the control and the Z so that I can assign it to this grade and then undo to get rid of it. So I have my my hand there the whole time so I can sit there and try this look. Oh no, I don't like that. I just hit control Z to undo. I'm gonna try this look. No, I don't like that. Control Z and undo. I'm gonna go into my everyday here and maybe I wanna look at these a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at these a little bit bigger and let's try the everyday, uh, everyday, everyday. This is one of my favorites. So let's apply that and go back down. And let's bring the opacity of this uh, adjustment layer down now a little bit here. Let's go ahead and turn the keyframes off of that. And there we have it right about there is where I like it. So now I can toggle it off, toggle it back on, and we can kind of see what our grade is doing. I'm gonna turn it back off, turn it back on. We can bring that opacity all the way up to make it more contrasty. And then we can layer these up too if we wanted to. We could actually come over to our, our uh, footage here and grab a new adjustment layer. And this one I'm just gonna call um, secondary. Let's call it second for now. And let's go ahead and throw it on top of the grade. And this one I'm just going to lift the blacks a little bit. I'm gonna go into my effects. Presets GSG, I'm gonna open up the basic. And I wanna do a uh, warm faded blacks on this. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got two adjustment layers happening. So this is our, our raw footage coming out of my phone. And now we've applied a couple different looks to it. And I, I like that, I think that's looking pretty good. So again, that is how you get the presets working in Adobe Premiere. Hope you enjoyed the video and we hope you enjoy Gorilla Grade LUTs. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another GSG LUTs quick start video. This video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to get the GSG LUTs working in Blackmagic Fusion. So here we've got our still life scene loaded. I'm just gonna hit the space bar and play this down. And we wanna apply uh, one of our LUTs to this. So with the footage selected, I'm gonna select, or I'm gonna click Control Space Bar to bring up the search for tools. And I'm gonna type in File, and it's gonna immediately put the uh, File LUT here at the top. And I'm just gonna hit 
hit OK. It automatically connects it for me. And then I'm just going to drag that up to my viewport so that I'm looking at this file LUT. Now we just need to select our LUT. So let's go ahead and grab that. And you can see that I'm in my, I'm going to actually navigate to my LUT folder, which is going to put me into um, where I can see all of my different collections. This will be different for you wherever you installed your, your LUT files. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select, uh, let's do Warm Embrace and hit OK. So there is uh, our footage with the LUT applied. I'm going to go ahead and play it down. Looking good. So now if I want to maybe not have such a strong look on this, it's very easy for me to fix that. I can just go over to the little nuclear tab here and bring the blend down on this effect. So I might bring it down to like 0.6 and hit play. And then I can come in here and go back to controls and select maybe a different LUT. Maybe I'll do a black and white. Um, photography class. And now that one, I definitely want to have it at 100%. So let's go ahead and play that down. So this gets you kind of like that cool silver tone kind of look that you might see uh, if you're doing any sort of photo printing. So that is um, how you get the 3D LUTs, the GSG LUTs uh, to work in Fusion. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna take a look at GSG LUTs working in Nuke. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we've got our footage loaded. Now let's go ahead and play that down. We've got our still life scene here. And we need to add uh, the GSG LUTs to it. So I'm gonna hit tab and I'm gonna search for vector field. So there it is, vector field apply 3D LUT. Click that, make sure that loads up. I'm gonna pipe that into my footage and I'm gonna go ahead and look at the output just by hitting one. So double click that, and now we're ready to load in one of our, our LUT files. And I'm gonna click on the little folder here, which is gonna bring up our, our browser. You wanna make sure that you navigate to this directory here. Uh, it's called 04 raw LUTs. And in there, there's the GSG LUT files. And then you can navigate to whatever, uh, whichever one you want. In this case, I have the Everyday Collection 3DL uh, package loaded. And I'm just gonna choose one, I'm gonna try uh, warm embrace and I'm going to hit open. So there you can see the LUT is applied. Uh, the other thing you need to do is make sure that you're actually viewing it in sRGB in both in and out because this is actually an sRGB uh, color space render. And once that's done, you can just hit play and your LUT is applied. You're good to go. Uh, you might be saying, well, how do I adjust the intensity of the LUT? Because some of these might be too heavy for what you're look looking for. In that case, you want to grab a blend node. I'm just going to type in BEL and then it gets me the blend, there we go. So I'm gonna put my uh, vector field into one, into two and my raw footage into one, and now I'm just gonna look at that blend. And now if I double click this blend, you can see I can bring uh, the LUT down, or the uh, footage, the raw footage down all the way, or I can do it the opposite and I can bring the LUT down to go back. So now I can kind of mix in this look uh, to where I might like it. Maybe I just like just a little bit of it right there and just play that down. So that's how you would blend um, your different kind of uh, LUTs together. You could even add more than one and, and experiment with playing around with different, different ones. But so yeah, that's how you get GSG LUTs working in Nuke. Hope you liked it. Thanks. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use the GSG LUTs in Photoshop. So here I've got a picture that I took with my phone, nothing crazy here, it's just an arcade workshop from uh, the GSG pinball party from NAB. Um, and I'm just gonna see what it can do with uh, something that I just shot on my phone, uh, nothing crazy, I didn't, I'm, I'm not much of a photographer, but I did think this image looked pretty cool. So uh, we have everything installed. The GSG LUTs are installed. Uh, we watched that video. We went through that process. So the thing I'm going to do uh, with my background um, all set to go is I'm going to open up my Adjustments tab here. And I'm going to click on the uh, Create Color Lookup Table Adjustment. Um, and what that does is it applies a, a LUT adjustment layer um, to my image and pops open this little property window where it allows me to navigate to the LUT file of my choice. And you can see we've got all the GSG LUTs loaded in here. Now, let's talk a little bit about what each set does. So the GSG basic set are very kind of simple basic color corrections that you might use in addition to other color corrections, or you might just wanna tweak a little bit of color to your image and not do a, a lot. The BW ones are black and white. So if I go to the black and white ones, you can see 
we're going to get this really cool kind of black and white looks, some really high contrast ones, some kind of uh, old timey ones. This one's kind of one of my favorites called Photography Class. And then we have uh, a set of cinematic. Now the cinematic ones are all based on movies. So I kind of went through and uh, chose a bunch of different movies and kind of emulated their color correction a little bit. So here we have like an alien movie, which just kind of makes everything this this blue color. We have uh, one called Los Angeles Haze, which kind of warms everything up a little bit. We even have um, uh, one called Oh Brother, which I'm guessing you can figure out what that's from. Um, and so yeah, well, all the cinematic ones are really fun to play with. Now the Everyday Collection has ones that I think I would use every day. So, you know, depending on what you're after, um, they're kind of an everyday color correction. They're very versatile is what I mean. Um, you can use them um, on just about any sort of photography or footage or render, uh, and you'll find something that you like. One of my favorites here, and this one is the magazine cover, which just makes everything really punchy. Um, and if it's too punchy, we can always bring the opacity down of this layer to make the effect a little bit less intense. But for now, we'll leave it at 100s because we're demoing everything. Okay, so now next we have the, the specialty series. Now, the specialty series is, think of this as kind of like an, a little bit like Instagram filtery kind of things, like things that kind of make it look a little old or make it look like old film. But there are some ones in here that aren't so heavy handed. handed. Um, like one of my favorite, actually, is Rich and Toasty. Uh, this one kind of just makes everything look a little warm and a little darker. And if you back that off the off of the um, opacity a little bit, you can get a really nice look. So here it is before and after. It just takes a little bit of the edge off of those fluorescent lights in that scene. So yeah, so that's kind of a, a look at all the different LUTs that come with uh, the GSG LUTs. Um, and of course, you can uh, add more. You don't have to just use one. Like if you wanted to load, let's say, a basic LUT on the top, let's do a basic uh, contrasty LUT um, and set it to like right there is pretty good. Then we're going to add another one. And in this one, I'm going to choose uh, After School Special because that's one of my favorites. I think it's under Specialty. Um, do, 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 after School Special. So, and let's back that one off about 70%. So now you can start to see how you can start to layer these LUTs to kind of get an interesting color correction going. So here it is without any color correction, and here it is with the two LUTs applied. And then from there, you just have to save it out um, as a Photoshop file or JPEG, whatever. It's just a just regular old Photoshop. So yeah, um, have fun, play with them, come up with your own crazy looks, and um, enjoy.